So this is different. It's actually nighttime. Yeah, we're finally going to a <laughs> Thursday first night Thursday night screening. And it's cool because like AMC, they have like the loyalty program, and with the loyalty program, if you come on the Thursday night, you get more points. So we're just collecting points like crazy, and this is really exciting. So we are going to see it. It. It's funny because being at this mall late at night is no different than being here in the middle of the day or in the morning. <laughs> It's actually quite sad. Look, it's Georgie. Georgie Dendro. Don't you want a balloon? is for theater three. <laughs> that's, that's because that's not reserved seating. Big line and IMAX for us, reserved well, that's seating. Not reserved seating. All right, going in. Okay, so I have never read the book and I've never seen the original series with Tim Curry, just little blurbs here and there. Uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. The aesthetic, the town, the people in the town, uh, the characters, the kids, the Losers Club, uh, the bullies, and Pennywise. Like on all levels, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot, it was a lot of fun. It was funny. It was funny, it was an action movie, and there was it was horror. It was terrifying for people, I guess, that are easily terrified. I'm always at the front of the line when we go into a haunted house. I'm always the one, I, I'm the shield, because I don't, I don't get scared. I did not jump once. I did not get scared at all throughout this movie, but I love the visuals. It definitely had a taste of everything from like Jeepers Creepers to The Shining to uh, Children of the Corn to Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, obviously a lot of those are king, um, but still I got that from this. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I am somebody who has read the book and who has seen the 1990 miniseries version. So going into this, I really kind of had to take that away from it and not have it judge what I was watching on screen. And when I did that, I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed all the characters, all the actors, all the kids that played these characters. Um, I thought that they really brought like what the characters were from the book alive to this one. I thought that they were hilarious. Like uh, Eddie Kasprak was great. I thought the, the Finn and Jack. Yes. Because Jack plays Eddie and Finn plays uh, Richie. Yes. Hilarious. I really love that dynamic. They're, they're, the two of them going back and forth was great. Um, and then of course Beverly Marsh and then uh, Sophia. Ma I think Sophie. Sophie. Sophie is her name. She did such a great job. And then you got Mike Hanlon and then you had Bill Denbro. And I thought that um, Bill Skarsgård did a wonderful job as Pennywise. Pennywise the dancing clown. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> but that was my first time. I think that um, his portrayal of Pennywise is way different than what Tim Curry did and then what I had in my mind as far as Pennywise goes in the story and I thought that he did a wonderful job as far as what M Mich I'm gonna say Andre Muschietti. Muschietti Andy Muschietti for some they had to what, simplify his what name I guess he wanted to make the, the, his vision of what he wanted to make it yeah in this story I thought that it was perfect I know that there was some times where I was like why did you go and do it this way like uh, uh, but I love the music in this movie in some of the ways but then in others like I was like why did you just pick that music so I had like ons and off about the movie but overall I enjoyed it very well there are a couple okay. moments where they go for more of the comedic factor with the music pairing yeah. up with the scene it threw me off but it was funny and it, I don't know it just something about it it just worked really well um, so yes I'm uh, I'm a fan of it I can't wait to see it again uh, or at least I probably won't see this one right away I really want to read the book but like I love how they are getting a sequel we do know that yeah and i mean to this one if you've seen the 1990 version and if you've read the book you know that they go 
in and out of them being older and then them going younger. So this movie was all of them just being young. So it cut it down even shorter, I guess, because it had just, it had to, or it had to kind of stretch it a little bit because it was just them as kids instead of it going back and forth between when they were adults versus to when they were kids. But I enjoyed the way that they did this. And I know that I heard, I read somewhere that eventually when the two parts come together that they might come out with a part where it comes like they cut like interlaces would, right interlace it like it would be, that'd be cool book. that'd be that'd be a way to get more blu-ray sales right. too if they were to combine it that way re-release it in theaters i mean that's how it is in the book you know you start you have the kids and then you have the adults and they it goes back and forth so. i'd pay to see that i don't see a whole lot of horror movies just because i don't typically get scared i'm very much grounded in reality like i yeah, don't see? Aliens. I yeah, love alien this movies. So, movie, but. like, I got, I had some jump scares. Okay, I jumped. It's because of freaking music, like, the screeching. You're like, oh my god, that hurts in my ear. I wanted to jump. But, but other than that, I was just like, oh, that's fun. <laughs> like, I, I, I had myself laughing more at parts that you're supposed to be scared at than I did being scared and but I, i'm okay with that and as we were walking out here i did hear people saying that they're like i was laughing but i felt like was i supposed to be laughing and that's the thing is yeah it, it is very much uh uh humorous mixed in but even when you get scared you giggle and laugh after you get scared too but this was definitely more on the humorous side and that was very um i like the way that the movie was it's just I don't know how to put it in words. It was just, I had it and then it went away. <laughs> well, for me, I enjoyed it greatly. Um, I would give it, I don't know, I, I really liked it. I thought it was well put together. Um, even though I wasn't scared, I liked it f as a good movie. I thought it was a good movie. So I'd give it a 4.5. I'm gonna go 4.0. Just because there was some things like the whole Beverly Marsh being taken away and they had to go save her type thing. There's was, a lot of moments where I'm like, don't do that. And like, no, why are you doing this? And why are you doing that? She no. was the one that they had to depend on her to kill the thing because she could slingshot better than all of them. Okay, so. now you're getting into the book stuff. I know, I know. See, and that's, that's the thing. <laughs> never read the book, never saw the miniseries. So yes, I think that would but affect the your time, score like, for sure. At the like when I started to put put that like oh but this is how they did it. I was like no 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 I know that they were trying to do it differently than the book but also have the book inter intertwine with the story itself too um, and I love the little notch to uh, little things in the book like his bike being called Silver and then you could kind of hear him say away Silver like A O Silver. And then you have like, river. like all of that stuff. So I just loved it. It was great. With like the little like books tied. tied no, it's the tips of yeah, the hat. And that's the thing is I knew, do know some of the things that people were asking for. It better have this. I hope it has this. There were some things that I noticed even as like, oh, well, that would make the book people happy because they were talking about wanting that. So either way, I really enjoyed it for he myself. He thrusts his fists against the post and still insists he sees the ghosts. Yeah, she's been saying that like nonstop for the last like 48 hours. But either way, it did you guys see it? What did you think? Are you gonna see it? What yeah, are I, you anticipating? I feel like I talked too much. No, like during the movie, you no, didn't say a word. I said right now, talking about it. That's good. That's good though. And when a movie makes you actually have something to say, that's what this movie. I did. would definitely go see it again. That's for sure, though. I'd see it again. It um, was fun. I'll go take my friend who's afraid of clowns. So yeah, yeah, our buddy Travis <laughs> says I, I think he could handle it. I think. But, yeah, I think that this one he it wouldn't. I don't know, yeah, I, we'll have to find out. We but either way, see. thank you guys for watching our review uh, for IT, our first impression right out of the gate. Um, we had a lot of fun. We hope you guys have fun watching it too. You can like and you can subscribe. And you can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust, All we do have that. Stardust, yeah, that's where you got our very first first right out of the theater impression. Yes. Uh, you can hit up our Patreon, help kick into the party, help fuel the party, keep the party going. Uh, either way, thank you guys. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. Yo, float to <gasps> the dancing clown. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs>